What is up guys? It is Flowey Designs here with a new tutorial for you guys. I think I'm gonna start doing some tutorials every week. It depends on the feedback I get. Well anyways, today's tutorial I'm gonna be teaching you guys how to set up my text. Here as you can see, it's all set up. And this ripple effect here and this effect here, I'm not sure what you call it, so I'm gonna call it the random effector effect because we are not gonna use a plugin. That's the best thing about this. You do not need a plugin. Well, um, the plugin itself, it's in Cinema 4D, so you won't have to go download it. So, you let's go to Cinema 4D, go to MoGraph, Mo Text. Okay, after you've done that, put in your text. I'm gonna put Soar for this tutorial because I'm gonna do a Soar background soon. Probably today, but um, I'm not gonna upload it today. Probably tomorrow. Uh, I'm gonna change the font to Big Noodle. Oh, where is it? There it is. Okay, to tell you this right now, it works better with rounded objects. If you don't know what I mean, as you can see, it goes round. It looks better because it only goes through the points here, point to point. But um, you know it's better to use um rounded objects like I said well anyways um I'm gonna teach you guys how to set up my text so um here I have my text you wanna put in color now I'll copy this control CV now I'll just put in some gray just delete this blue okay some gray there's nothing on going on there's nothing going on yet sorry about that go to caps Make sure you click on Motex, go to caps, fill the cap, fill the cap, and change this to about 1, and 1, change the radius to 1, and the radius to 1 on both of them. Now go to fill a type to engraved. So after you've done that, you want to go to Motex, go to object, turn up the depth. Uh, I'm going to put it to about too much. I'm going to put it to about 300. Okay, now I'm going to select this here. So, I'm going to put this to about 200. Okay, that's better. Now, what you want to do is just copy this. Go text, go to edit, copy, edit, paste. Okay, now, this is doing for all of them. Do it the fastest way, you know. Get this done. And I am pretty much done now. So now what we're going to do is do a this is a ripple effect here, and then do this random effector effect. Okay, now go back to the Cinema 4D. Now make sure you have nothing selected. Go to MoGraph Effector Random. Now go to the Deformer tab. Go change the off to point. After you've done that, you want to to group all these up together by right click or selecting all of them like this right click group objects as you can see the um you got your your random effector effect already so that's pretty much it for the random effector effect now let's do the ripple effect so now I'll click on your random go to effective turn down the strength to about th three and that's pretty much it for this tutorial well like I said I'm gonna start doing tutorials every week it depends on the feedback I get on this video so please like comment and subscribe if you haven't I'll see you guys later there is a form if you wanna buy graphics or buy graphics with subscribers uh, you know, donations are accepted. Make sure you send the money as gift, cause it's better. But anyways, um, I gotta go now.